Campaigners take to the streets to save public land at Reddish Vale Country Park, 26 years after defeating the previous plans. Stockport Council are proposing the development to build 292 homes on the 1.3 hectares of land inside Reddish Vale Country Park. No formal application to develop or sell the land has been made by Stockport Council, but they have appointed a developer. Countryside properties were selected as the as the prefer, what call, we term as the preferred developer to take this development forward. In terms of uh, their status, what the plan, uh, what the uh, development agreement with them uh, does is it puts it the onus on the developer to submit an application. So at this stage, they do not own anything around there. Uh, as leader of the council, we received the the proposals for the master plan of which. Reddish Vale is part of, for Brinnington to regenerate Brinnington. Uh, we approved the principle and after the consultations we, we approved the master plan. Once the planning application is in for the housing, uh, the building will start. So I, I would expect to start to see the properties being built uh, this year. The Tame Valley Defence Group is a voluntary group looking to save the land. Members of the group claim the original plans were wrongly described and the proposed development site on Blackberry Lane was adjacent to the park rather than in it. The current campaign is against the plan of Stockport Council to sell off 1.3 hectares of the country park to a private developer and this is for the building of private houses. It's been done under the guise of the Brinnington Regeneration Plan, however nobody was informed that Reddish Vale Country Park was at risk. The area of the country park that the council wants to sell off is known as Blackberry Slopes. This is a feeding ground for roe deer, badgers, foxes, bats, to name but a few. This wildlife will be decimated if the council go ahead, sell the land and it is developed on. The Local Government Act of 1972 states that authorities wishing to dispose of open space are legally bound to advertise their intentions in local newspapers for two consecutive weeks and then consider objections. There is a specific set out legal process to go through under the Local Government Act and that will involve uh, advertising uh, those, the fact that the council wishes to sell that land uh, within uh, local papers. Um, there is a statutory period within that for people to, to make comment and then ultimately it will have to go back to the council executive to receive approval for the sale of that land to progress. In contrast to the Reddish Vale story, there are development plans in place for the land to be developed in Heat and Mercy recently which have been through the correct means of informing residents and considering objections. The Tame Valley Defence Group claims that this is not the case for Reddish Vale and the original plans have already been made without consulting the residents. The council should have been open and honest from the start of the Brinnington Regeneration Plan in 2009 when it was conceived. It was mid-2013 before anybody in Stockport found out. Campaigners will continue to fight for public consultation, which they say should have already been carried out prior to the plans being created. They're almost saying that because we didn't go up to them personally saying we're going to do this, but we made, we made a great deal of what we were doing. Um, certainly ward councillors uh, in Brinnington were incredibly aware of this. They're part of the same group as the Reddish councillors. So, you know, we had no reason to suppose that information was not out there and was not known by people who were interested in it. Um, they feel that they didn't know about it, but we feel that we put out as much information as we could. Over 60 people have joined the campaigners on the latest rally against the proposals. While the online petitions gained around 5,000 signatures for the land to remain as it is. While no decision for the development has been formally made, it has been an issue in recent council meetings.